fundamental property of the universe using Newton's gravitational constant, speed of light, Planck's constant, comes into that calculation. Turns out, when you do the calculation, that roughly speaking, that number, the Chandrasekhar limit, is the Planck mass cubed divided by the proton mass squared. That's what it is. You do that calculation, put the numbers in, it's about 1.4 times the mass of the sun. But I find it profoundly important. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful result. Because what we're saying is that you can calculate the maximum mass of a load of stuff that can hold itself up through this quantum mechanical process. And it just depends on these fundamental properties of the universe. Strength of gravity, Planck's constant, speed of light, that's it. So it's a very, very beautiful calculation. But it's the best example I know of the relationship between these rather abstract quantities, perhaps, uh, and something that you can look at in a telescope. It's, it's, it's a beautiful piece of physics.